That's the God of the Bible a as nation specified. gone under. He is definitely talking about the biblical God, the one true God. And he said, we will be a nation gone under. That delivered August 23rd, 1984. And I'm afraid we're definitely moving in that direction if we don't turn things around. And let's go back into history prior to that. Would you give us the words of Noah Webster? Dr. Baugh, I really believe Noah Webster was one of the greatest Americans in the history of the country. And he wrote the first American dictionary and he put together what was called the Blue Back Speller. Now, this was used to train American children yes. and teach American children for the first roughly 150 years of our nation's history. Part of the educational foundation of our great nation. And it is still a great nation, the greatest yes. nation on mm -hmm. earth today. It is. We're not wiping out America. No. We're saying we need to return to be blessed of God. We need to return to our biblical foundations. Yes. In fact, Noah Webster, one of the greatest Americans and one of the greatest educators in the history of this country, stated, our continued success is dependent upon our educating the youth of America in the principles of the Christian religion. And that is specifically stated in the history of our country and needs to be adhered to. But this is not what we've been doing for 50 years, and we're seeing the fruit of that today. Yes, we we are. need to make a change. Yes, we do. And the change, again, as we uh, emphasized at the top of the program, does not begin at the governmental administration level. It begins with a grassroot awakening, at a return to God with individuals that overwhelms the entire nation and the history of the world. Absolutely. Now, I have used this a number of times on programs, so we wanted to use it on this program in these closing moments. It's been stated clearly, historically, that the average age of the world's greatest civilizations from the beginning of history has been about 200 years. We're overdue, unfortunately. Yes. Mm -hmm. During those 200 years, these nations always progressed through the following sequence. And we can break that sequence and we can return to the top. But here's the principle from bondage. And our forebears came from a deleterious context of bondage and wanted liberties like no other nation. And we've been the illustration to the world we in the been. last 200 plus years that it's possible for free men to govern themselves. And even today, people from around the world flock to the United States. Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I, I've lectured in over 20 countries, and almost everywhere I go, someone will come up to me and say, can you arrange for me to try to get to the United States? Yes. Yes. Uh, they're knocking at our doors still, even though our lamp is dim, we're they're still, still knocking at our doors. We're still a great country. That is correct. Now, during these 200 years, all of these nations always progress through the following sequence. Number one, from bondage to spiritual faith. And our forebears, our early founding fathers, and their wives and families and their children had a resilient faith in God. The Mayflower yes, Compact, for one thing, just illustrates that. Yes. And uh, my mother's ancestors were on the Mayflower. So that, that just gives me one generation closer to, <laughs> to the rest <laughs> of our people. From bondage to spiritual faith from spiritual faith to great courage and all the courage exercised by the founders of our country. Absolutely. From courage then to liberty bought with a price. From liberty to abundance and when there's liberty, the free exercise and work ethic of the American culture has been used of God to provide bountiful blessings for the rest of the world. We've yes. had an overflow to provide for them in catastrophe. But it doesn't stop there. From liberty to abundance, then from abundance to complacency, unfortunately. And this is written in the very fabric of history. From complacency to apathy that just doesn't care, that wants the here and now, everything we can get now, regardless of the consequences. Mm. From this apathy, then to dependence. Dependence on the government, dependence on a dictator, dependence on the economy rather than the basis within and our relationship with God. Yes. And from that dependence, from this dependence, back into bondage. Hmm. We probably are between six and seven 
You and I agreed before yes. the program and from complacency to apathy and from apathy to dependence. Yes. We have third generation families totally dependent on the government. Yes. And that is extremely unfortunate. It's dangerous. But there is hope. The God of the Bible is the God of mercy. He's the God of love and compassion. And he states that he visits the sins of the fathers to the third and fourth generation. That is marvelously pungent to our hearts and applicable to this hour. In the history of Israel, in the history of nations, God watches the decay, and yet for those children in that next generation, he visits them, he caresses them, he embraces them. And if they return to him, as in a few decades many of the Israelites did, if they return to him, he again gives them liberties and strength. But if instead they go the decadent way that the fathers of recent generations have authorized and propagated, then they too continue down a spiraling path to destruction. But our groundswell of liberty needs to come from one person at a time having courage to face their own sins and to know Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is available. Would you pray this simple prayer? Lord Jesus, thank you for being in the founding of our country. Help me to be what I need to be. I need you in my heart. Lord Jesus, right now, I open my heart's door. Come in now. Save me from my sin. Cover me with your blood. Live within me. Give me a new life, your life, and help me to make a difference to my family, to those about me in the government, and in our country. Welcome to the path of courage. Creation in the 21st Century has been sponsored by Trinity Broadcasting Network. And only with your love gift of support can this program stay on the air. So write to Creation in the 21st Century, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Creation in the 21st Century is a unique program on TBN combining biblical knowledge with scientific verification. Much of the information that I use on the program is available. Contact us. Just write Creation Evidence Museum, P.O. Box 309, Glen Rose, Texas 76043, or call us at 254-897-3200. We look forward to hearing from you today.